How to stencil a shirt with paint. So I'm going to go through this part quick, but first you want to find a design that you like. Uh, find a stencil. So obviously you can Google search for stencils. Things like graffiti make for good stencils, silhouettes, tattoo designs, illustrations, and then also use Pinterest. And that's where I found the stencil we'll be using today. Again, I'm going to speed through this, but if you do just find a normal picture, you can bring that into Photoshop and just go to Images, Adjustments, Desaturate to make it gray. And then you're going to go back to Image Adjustments and Posterize, or Posterize? I don't know and change the level down to two, and that'll just make it black and white, give you some really defined edges to kind of help you with your stencil. Now the stencil I'm using is pretty straightforward, I just needed to crop it, desaturate it a little bit. When you print your stencil, you wanna think about how it's going to appear on the shirt, how big it's gonna be, things like that, and I happen to have run out of black ink. So once you have it printed, you'll have your design, and you need your other supplies. So what you need is your shirt, of course, a cutting board, an X-Acto blade, paint brushes, paint, and fabric medium. And then you can start cutting. So basically just cut around your silhouettes, as you see here. You need to mix the paint together next. We're using acrylic paint, and we use two parts acrylic paint to one part acrylic fabric medium or textile medium which you can find at any craft store and it's made to work with fabric so go ahead and mix those together get the color you want and then add the textile medium get your shirt laid out put some paper underneath it and put your stencil on the shirt there's a few things to keep in mind when you're painting first you probably actually want to tape down your stencil depending on what your stencil looks like you'll probably have hard edges anyway so you'll be able to tape it down Obviously, I didn't tape it down here, which I wouldn't recommend if you want some nice sharp edges, uh, which 90% of the time you do want. But I was kind of going quick and dirty, and I don't mind having some softer edges. And what I mean by that is if, if it's not flat against the material, it'll bleed a little bit. You can see how the fabric's getting picked up a little bit by the paintbrush. And so that means there's some paint getting under there a little bit. Um, but I'm just holding it down, going for a sort of... Um, more soft look. You can see that I'm dabbing. Try to only go over an area once if you can help it. And I'll show you, you can see that I went over more than one time on the legs there. I let it dry for a few minutes and then I like to peel up the stencil. I use my X-Acto blade kind of get under there and once I get an edge lifted you can see it just pull it off. Now if you look at my design, like I said, it's I got I did pretty good keeping the, the, the straight edges. But if you look at the bottom uh, buffalo right there, you can see the back legs have sort of bled through. And that was for me dabbing more than once and also not having the stencil being pressed against the fabric very well. Now here I decided to do a little outline. Now after you let everything dry, put some parchment paper over the paint area and iron the spot that helps it set into the fabric so when you wash it, it doesn't crack or crumble. So there you have it, your very own shirt with its very own unique design. Pretty awesome, you're looking sweet. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.